Yo, Yankees fans, what is up? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Hola, como estas? Back from a two-week vacation. Hey, Yankees fans, what I noticed before I left, I talked about that the Red Sox are the team to be. They have proven that they are the team to be. And like I said, make the Red Sox the team to be. Let them have all the pressure. Let them have the targets on their back. And they will fold. The Yankees are now learning the art of winning series. If you have been following this channel for quite some time now, you would know that I have said the way we're going to see if the Yankees are good or not is if they win series. If they can sweep teams. If they can't go on a let's say a 12 game winning streak right now they have won four in a row but they have yet to sweep a three game series let's see if they can do that against the twins this is what the yankees need they have not consistently swept teams for quite so many years now i can't even remember the time when the yankees consistently swept ball teams and if you pay attention, other ball clubs consistently sweep teams even if they are a below 500 team. And Yankees fans, and I repeat, this is how you're going to know if the Yankees are real or not. If they take four games from the Twins, who are a pretty legit ball club, who was giving the Cleveland Indians a run for their money, if they take four from the Twins this early, you are going to see the Yankees build up confidence. You are going to see the Yankees consistently sweep teams. This is what the Yankees need to do. Come playoff time, the main target is to sweep teams, obviously win series. And this is, in my opinion, the Yankees haven't done that consistently since 2015. If you ask me, the 2015 Yankees, sure, they choked. But really, folks, the 2015 Yankees could have been the 2017 Yankees. That one game versus Houston, in my opinion, that 2015 Yankees team could have went deep into the playoffs. We saw D.D. Gregorius come into his own. We saw Greg Bird have a solid, healthy run with the Yankees. We also saw how A-Rod came back and hit over 30 bombs. That team was solid. So in my opinion, teams like the 2015 Yankees are slept on. And if you pay attention, that team in the regular season went on winning streaks. They won like 12 straight at one point. So this is what we haven't seen for quite some time. This is how, like I said, you're going to know if the Yankees are legit if they go on lengthy winning streaks. And Yankees fans, I've told you this a million times. Sonny Gray, if he continues to pitch like he's pitching, I predicted it here. I got bashed. You can browse my old videos from like three months ago or four months ago and listen to my criticism of Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray is never going to be that pitcher that the Yankees expect out of him, period. He's not suited for the American League. He's like 30 years old, and his velocity isn't going to change or get better. So, and in my opinion, again, I've said this a million times, Sonny Gray, getting him was a mistake. I predict James Kaprilian, when he comes back from the DL, is going to be a solid young stud for the A's and, and in my opinion Sonny Gray is better fit for the National League so come trade deadline if Sonny Gray is putting up the same numbers I would trade him to a National League ball club do you include him in a package to get let's say a Patrick Corbin obviously Patrick Corbin is a free agent after this season and I can see a team like the Diamondbacks biting and taking Sonny Gray because he's under control to win 2020, 2021, something like that. And it's a good trade-off, in my opinion. The Yankees, obviously, Sonny Gray's not going to pitch well in the American League. Like I said, he's better suited for the National League. 
facing that number nine hitter, number eight hitter over there in the National League. So why do I bring up Sonny Gray? Because having Sonny Gray in your rotation is going to limit you, let's say, going on hot streaks and sweeping teams. So literally Montgomery is coming up clutch. I've always liked Montgomery. In my opinion, I was scratching my head last year why the Yankees sent down Montgomery and gave Jaime Garcia a chance and Sonny Gray a chance. Obviously, they had to get give Sonny Gray a chance, obviously, because he traded a whole bunch of top prospects for him. So, obviously, they were going to give him a chance last season. But Sonny Gray is on a thin leash. And like I said, I don't expect him, again, to put up legit numbers for the Yankees or any American League team. So the big, big question mark, in my opinion, guys, is Sonny Gray, okay? Is another solid starting pitcher in your rotation that can help your team stay on a hot streak. Let's see how Mr. Gray pitches. Let's see if he continues to struggle. But in my opinion, he's just going to give you subpar numbers. And people have to come to that realization. So, Yankees fans, NYNews.com, NYNews Felix is back from vacation. I will update this channel every day like I was before I went on vacation. Four in a row, like I said, consistency, consistency, consistency. Once your pitching gets going, your offense is going to get going. So, like always, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.